Thank you for joining me on this quick tip. Okay, so this video is going to look at customizing your search fields. And when we say that, we actually mean customizing the fields on your search page. So placing them exactly where you want, removing, adding new ones. Um, okay, so the main button you want to look for is here, upper right hand side, this blue customize button. So click on that. Um, when you do click it, you get these little red X's that show up. You also get this left hand customize your screen column here. Uh, with the X's, you can click on them and they'll remove the field from your, your page. So if for some reason, I don't want property type, let's get rid of it by clicking on it. Subtype, we don't need that. So of course, you probably do want those, but just in my example, I'm removing them. Uh, you can also move stuff around. So MLS number, let's click and move it under tax key here. Leave it there. Ownership is also going to go on this left hand side. Um, you can also scroll through this, um, this column here. Um, so one that I hear sometimes is your days. So let's scroll through alphabetically, look for the days on market. So when you find the field you want on the left hand side, uh, click hold and drag. So let's go ahead and drag it over here. I'm going to put days on market there. Oops, I missed it. Look for the green line and drop it. And you're gonna drop it right there. And also, for me personally, I pull up a lot of agent, um, a lot of listings by agent ID. So for me, I want to put agent ID here. And let's do the selling side also. And when you're done, you want to hit this blue save changes button. Let the system know you're done. And okay, here we go. So I just customized my search page to exactly how I want it. And this is going to stay like this forever until I change it. So if I log out, log back in, this is exactly the page I'm going to get. Um, so I am customizing my listing search page. So for example, create a CMA, it's also going to have this layout. Listing update, going to have this same layout. Um, if you do want to switch back, like if you ever make a mistake, like I did, I accidentally removed, I didn't accidentally, but I removed my, um, my property type and stuff. You can always hit the customize button again. And you're going to look for the little link up top, previous versions here. Click on that and I can go back to um, either a date that I saved it or I can go back to the research standard. So if I hit restore, it's going to put it back to um, how we give it to you by default. So yeah, let's save those changes. Um, yeah, pretty easy as long as you know where this customize button is. And once it's open, yeah, feel free to move fields around, get rid of them, add new ones. You can customize the search field to exactly what you want and for your needs okay so hope you found that useful again really easy feel free to do that and um yeah hope you guys are having a great day aloha